Hey guys, Lenny here. Tonight we're going to show you how to milk a cow. This is Molly, our new milk cow. She's a Jersey. My wife Sam, she's going to do the milking and explain it. So, let's get started. Alright, so I have three buckets up here. I have my pail, and I'm going to have my milk pail. I'm going to take the milk back to the house with. It's got a lid. So I'll put pour. I'm going to milk into this. So that way, if something were to happen, if she were to put her foot in the bucket, or if something fell in there, or whatever, you can you wouldn't lose your whole bucket. You're just gonna use that little bucket. So and this has a lid, so you don't spill it. All right. So now, first, we're going to clean her udder and her teats. We're gonna wash it off with warm water, and I'm gonna use a washcloth. Clean it off, get any dirt and anything she got on her teats during the day walking around. Do that first. This is my seat. I use it with the bail that works. All right. Yep. All right. So I'm gonna wash your water, your teeth, and this also helps stimulate her udder to get ready to be milked. So I'm just making sure I get everything really good. Um, and so Molly got mastitis in her front left quarter before we bought her. So she's actually only milking or giving milk out of three quarters. And we get about three gallons a day. So we should get about a gallon and a half tonight. Okay. Next, we're going to strip out her teats, which is just getting like the first three squirts out where to milk out to make sure it's clear and clean for, for us. So we're gonna one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, so I'm gonna get my little tail. I'm gonna put it in there. And there's two different ways to milk a cow. You can do either Squeezing, so you're gonna start at the top and then you would go down with your hand like that and then you repeat that movement. Or she kind of has smaller teats, so I find it easier to use a little bit of balm and you lube up her teats and then just to pinch and slide down. I find that faster than she's got smaller teats. So I just get a little bit on both my fingers like that. And then I'm just going to slide, pinch and slide. And I'm doing her back two quarters first. And then once the left back quarter is empty, I will do the back right and the back and then the front right. So the back right makes gives us the most milk out of all the first quarters. to say hi. Well, while she's doing that, we'll look. show you all the cows. This is Ginger. She's Red Angus. She's gonna have a calf here soon. Hey, you can tell her. Oh, it's kinda dark now, if you can see. Her teats are getting pretty big. So, I mean, she's pretty poofy back here. Let's see her teeth are not dark. Look, 
they're real large. So it's gonna be any time with her. Oliver's doing good. He's hiding over there. He's a week old. Sneak in there. You better look at him. Big mama, she cranky. She don't like anyone in here. Excuse me. There he is. He's a little cutie. You gotta watch her. She... She'll probably headbutt you. She don't really bother me, but she don't like the boys going in there or anything. Here's Mia. Bella's in here somewhere. There she is. Everyone just got fed. Little Bella. She loves the attention. So they all do. They, oh, slime. Let's give them kisses. I'm still milking. Let's see how much she's got so far. Uh -oh. almost, a foot, almost a foot in the bucket. Got a little poop right there. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'll dump that off that side, other side. And I'll rip it out. None got in the milk. It's been a little cranky the past couple of times. Here's the two steers, Skid and Dozer. They're getting big. They'll probably be ready for butcher probably around January 2020. Here's Bubba, our bull. He loves attention too. Loves the scratches. And they're all shut in their winter coats. Where's the belt like it? because we handled them early there. All real friendly and like to be pet and scratch. Don't bite them. Same still milking away. All these milking buckets and supplies we got off of Amazon. I'll put the, the link in the description. And if you click on the link and buy, buy this stuff or buy anything off of Amazon through my link, I'll get a small commission out of it. So that'll help me out. You guys do that. Takes them about 15 minutes to milk. And by the 
and my if I'll have this food all gone. Here, Jim. Jim Cal wants more attention. They're all looking for treats. I got Stella and Daisy are out in the other barn right now. Alright, so we're getting towards the end here. So when I start to do the squeeze rather than the pull, because when you're getting that empty, it's hard to get milk down anyways. So I don't want to just pull on her. But we're just starting to get start you can tell you're starting to get towards the end because you're barely getting anything. Or you'll get a couple good squeezes and then nothing like that. There's nothing there now. And then this one's about empty too. So I'll start gonna squeeze. Just trying to get everything out because if you don't completely milk them out, they can get mastitis. So just to make sure we get everything. There. And that is it. She's empty. That's the last little bit we jump in here. This is our fourth little pail we jumped into this. I got just about a gallon and a half. And that, so we'll put the lid back on it. So we get more hay flowers in there. Alright, now I'm gonna, after you're done milking, you have to dip your teeth. So that way you don't get a bacteria infection that also leads to mastitis. So it's called a deep tea dipper. So what it is, is this is where your iodine is down on the bottom. You're going to squeeze the cup and it's going to fill it. And then all you're going to do is go under here. I'm just going to dip. Dip. I'm going to re-dip that one. And then dip that one. Even though we didn't milk out of it, I dip it anyways. And then you're done. And she's done milking and we'll put her back in her stall and let her finish out her alfalfa teeth. That's milking. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll uh, show you straining it when we get in the house. Alright, so now we're going to filter the milk. So I have a funnel. So we'll put that in first. We do the gallon first and then we just tap up, fill up to the half gallon with whatever's left. And then I'm going to put a cheesecloth that I fold in half. I'm going to put that in next. And that'll catch any of the fine stuff. And then I have a bigger um, filter, but that kind of just holds down the cheesecloth too. And it catches the bigger stuff.
out of there. And this is going to catch any hay that fell in there when she was moving or when I was moving. Put over it on. Or hair, they say it. you can get hair in there too from milking them. So there's one gallon. And then watch that. And then put our lids on. And we'll date it. Um, we do the date and then the AM or PM for whether we got it in the morning or night. So we know which is which. There you go. So a gallon and a half.